Today I've got some freshly plucked moringa leaves from our garden. Come join my kitchen as we cook it. Let's put the stove on. Moringa tree is like a gold mine. It has got so many health benefits to it. Here I've got some moringa leaves. It weighs about 200 grams. It's washed and cleaned. Let's pour about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Moringa leaves helps people who have got uh, cardiovascular problems, cholesterol problems, joint problems, arthritis, hair problems. It improves eyesight. Look, here I've got only the drumstick leaves. I've discarded all the thin stems and the sticks that were there. Oil is getting hot over here. Let's add half teaspoon of mustard, half a teaspoon of wooded dal. I can faintly recall in my early childhood, my grandma used to extract juice from the drumstick leaves and she'll add a little bit of salt and tell me to gargle whenever I had a sore throat. That shows my grandma was aware of the benefits of Moringa. Our mustard is cracking nicely. Moringa leaves boosts our immunity. Let's add half teaspoon of cumin. Add half teaspoon of fennel. Two dry red chilies. Add three chopped green chilies. A handful of curry leaves. This is about 20 cloves of garlic crushed. My mother-in-law used to add uh, prawns in this. She used to fry the prawns then crush them. You know, there's roughly coarsely crush them and then she'll add. But today I'm not doing all that. So I'm just making this vegetable with the things that are available at home. I don't have prawns. I have added two chopped onions. With prawns it is really very tasty. Let's fry the onions till they are translucent. Yeah, I am getting a nice aroma with all the chilies and the garlic. It really is uh, very aromatic. Let's add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix it nicely. This is a very tasty vegetable. You can also make soup out of these leaves. It's very nutritious. Okay. I, the raw smell of onions are gone. And, and the onions are nice and translucent. Now it's time to add our uh, moringa leaves. Okay, let's add the leaves. If you want, you can even chop the these leaves and add. I've got quite a lot of moringa leaves. They are quite light and airy. It's only 200 grams, but you get a lot in 200. I'm adding little by little because I don't know whether it'll be enough. This uh, whether I'll be able to stir it properly in this pan. Here's the stem and the leaves together. I better remove this. We need only the leaves. As you keep stirring, it will reduce in quantity. Then you can add all the leaves. Even as you are watching this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe and give us your feedback in the comment section. Let's mix everything together until well combined. See, just stir it a bit. Drumstick leaf doesn't take much time to cook. It's nice and juicy. Don't overcook the drumstick leaves, it will become dry. So it's good. Okay, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of uh, red chilli powder. It goes very well with this because the uh, leaves are kind of sweet as well. So this chilli powder and all the garlic and all that really makes it very tasty and nutritious. See how it is reducing in quantity. 
we should use this moringa leaves as often as possible in our diet because it's good now i'm going to add some salt to it yeah about half a teaspoon salt that should do mix it nicely yeah now we'll cover and cook for 5 minutes this doesn't take much time to cook just 5 minutes will do let's check it 5 minutes have passed now let's check the vegetable hmm see the steam coming out it smells so yummy see there's absolutely no water and it's nicely cooked here i got half cup of freshly grated coconut We'll just add that. Okay, we'll combine everything together. We'll just stir it for two to three minutes till the raw smell of coconut also disappears. See, it's as simple as that. Doesn't need much time. You can eat it with dal rice. You can eat it with chapatis. like any other vegetable i'm just cooking the coconut a bit okay let's turn off the stove that's it our tasty drumstick leaves are ready